Trial of Christopher Clements begins tomorrow. He's the man charged in the murder and kidnapping of six year old Isabel Sellis more than a decade ago. His first trial for Isabel's death ended in a mistrial last year when the jury couldn't reach a verdict. Clements is already serving a life sentence for the 2014 kidnapping and murder of 13 year old Maribel Gonzalez. The remains of both girls were found years apart in the same desert area northwest of Tucson. Opening arguments are scheduled this week, but the judge had to set a few things straight today. 13 News reporter J.D. Wallace is live downtown at Superior Court where the trial will be held. Dan, today's pretrial conference with Judge James Marner permitted some defense testimony into the trial, or at least allowed it to stay, and also added some additional evidence into the trial, all for this trial of Christopher Clements, who is not in the courtroom today, but his trial is scheduled to start this week. Six-year-old Isabel Sellis disappeared from her parents' midtown home after she went to bed April 20th, 2012. That's almost 12 years ago. Last year, after a 10-day trial, the jury deliberated for nine hours over two days but could not reach a verdict on the murder charge, and the judge declared a mistrial. A change of venue was denied last week. Today, the judge said the defense can call the testimony of two experts who will rebut the accuracy of using cell phones to track Clement's location, as well as an expert witness on whether a window screen was pulled or pushed from Isabel Celis's window. The judge will also allow additional photographs that were submitted by the prosecution. Jury selection begins tomorrow with opening statements scheduled for Wednesday. And it should be noted that while the judge allowed these defense experts to still testify in the trial, he reminded the prosecution, who, which had objected to these witnesses, he reminded the prosecution that the rules of evidence still apply, which means that the prosecution can still object to what these experts say, can still try to get these experts' testimony stricken from the record. So we'll have to see what happens during this trial. And again, it should be noted that Clements is all already serving a life sentence for the murder of Maribel Gonzalez, who disappeared June 2014 while walking to a friend's house. Live downtown, J.D. Wallace, 13 News.